Hey guys. Not exactly sure how long that ran, but... Oh well. At least, while I was idle, it gave Virgil a chance to recover his stamina. Did I already loot you? No, I did not. Ow! Someone should have been using their scroll of science and invisible traps. Mm. Or guard leather. You didn't have guard leather at that before now. You sure have it now. Hey, kite. You missed. You missed. Dude, guys, stop. You're killing yourselves. Please stop killing my dog. It's these archers that are killing him. Son of a were rat. Okay, note to self, one of those kites is going to bugger off. That'll even the fight a little. that where rat come from There he is Dog Whoops Well, that demon was next to useless. Let's try these potions of haste. There you go, dog. Now you're hasted. Seems to be cleaning up. Stop arrowing me! Oh gosh, I just realized these guys are about as tall enough to arrow straight to kneecaps. They don't even need to aim, they just shoot in your direction. And bam! Right in the knee. I'll never be an adventurer now. Ow! Oh, I'm... wait a minute, can't I do that? That'll make things a lot easier. Fix the dog. I want to see traps, so I don't get completely electrocuted again. 20 arrows. 16 gold. Rough cut diamond. Forty six gold. Virgil, you're glowing. Oh, let's save after that mess. Oh, no! No! Uh, I think 
can keep that hall, I'm going this way, goodbye. sure what those railroad spikes are for, but I'm sure they have a use. Oh yeah, this is towards the end. What are these rats guarding? An unlocked chest. I'm not sure I care enough. Okay, now you definitely want to use those scrolls of sense traps in this hallway. Definitely. Because this hallway is just completely littered with them. Ow. Why did I walk onto that? I told him to go around. Not so bad now. Huh. Where are all the traps? I remember there being a lot more. Maybe they're further on. There's one. There's another. Glad the scroll works on the whole party. There's another, and another. And another. And another, and, an and another. And another. That's a terrible trap. One gold to get poisoned. More traps, more traps, more traps, and a dwarf! If you come, I will not go. I spit on the judgment of the Wheel Clan, Elven Pawns. It comes to this, it does. I am ashamed for myself and my kind, I say. I've come to judge you harshly. Uh, I don't understand. I'm only here to find the Black Mountain Clan. Betrayer that was myself, the clan of the wheel, betrayers all, sent to despair without hope for return. With Stenar and the boy, Stenar and Bates, we all paid the burden of shame. Who paid? Where is your clan? Speak up. Gone, gone to their despair, an island of death and hate, the unholy place of judgment. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. Gaze upon the pillar of truth for you. Answers too long has my mind been consumed with my traps and those waiting for me to slip and show weakness. They are here, you know, waiting. Hiding in the shadows. You've been down here for 70 years laying traps and waiting? My traps keep me safe. Our homes must be protected to the end of days. Much evil afoot. Well, he's dedicated. I'll give him that. Uh, good day. There's a chest with stuff. And the pillar of truth. I'm not proud as I set this down, but it must be known that I, Gumindor Bender, have rejected the judgment of the Wheel Clan, the banishment of the Black Mountain Clan to the Isle of Despair for crimes against a dwarven world, namely sharing of technology with the humans. It's a more grave an offense than which it purports to avenge. I commit the stone my judgment on Logair and his clan blinded in their madness to the extent that they would allow the elves to force their hand. The day the elves came, led by the warrior betrayers of the wheel, was the day my destiny was writ upon the stone. Gum and Orbender would never be banished to the, by the hand of an elf no matter what untrue judgment of guilt were handed down. The voice of reason, so 
usually so clearly heard by Dwarven, kind was shunned when it cried out to drive the human from our ancestral home. The Bates child sold the Dwarven birthright to the world, and he was the charge of Stenar, so it must be the guilt. So it must be the guilt. I need water. Ugh. Narration is hard. This day shall be remembered for all the days of the Orbender. The proudest of clans may be forced as sheep into a circle of banishment created by lowly elves. While warriors stand and do not, the Orbender must reject all that his dwarven bones will him to do. As there must be one to stay and make record of this, the most evil of days. I scream for my brothers to fight the unfair judgment of the clan of all clans. I scream at them still. Well, that's depressing. And scroll of exiting. Awesome scroll, that. Look for the Black Mountain Clan on the Isle of Despair. Well, we did that. Wait a minute. Okay. Now it's back, because that was the Black Mountain Mines. If you go in there right when you get that quest, you are dead meat. You won't be able to kill even one of those seething masses. Or the were rats for that matter. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do 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 do. Ugh. My poor throat. I can understand why Tarant is laid out as it is. So it's basically a straight shot up to Bates' house. But I really would like it if there was a little bridge right here, because this is where the smiths are. There you go. Come on. There we go. Why did he go up into that corner? Unlocked. Mr. Bates! Are you have another story for us? You have returned! Tell me what news! Uh, the dwarves were banished to the Isle of Despair because... Uh... For the sake of the gods, out with it, man! They irresponsibly allowed their technology to spread to humans, or your callous betrayal and theft of their technology doomed them. Uh, that one. By the gods! It's always as I feared! I doomed them all! Now he's crying. What have I done, my youthful impertinence? I... Here's some gold for your troubles. Could you... Could do something further for me? Would you like me to go to the Dial of Despair? If you would. I know I've an old man needs to put his mind at ease. Where is the Isle of Despair? The Isle of Despair is a penal colony. Extremely dangerous. The criminals are unceremoniously left on her shores to fend for themselves against the elements and the other inmates. I would be indebted to you, of course. Uh, how do I get there? Go to the docks at Ashbury. You can find it on your map. Ask around for Edward Teach, a crusty old salt. 
He is in command of one of the boats that I use for special jobs. And he will take me? Can he be trusted? I trust him implicitly. There are rumors of a somewhat less than virtuous career on the high seas. He's a good man should a difficult situation arise. Well, that's good. I'll wire ahead to tell Teach to expect you. More you questions? Know. What do you wish to ask of me? Uh... It's an attempt on your life. There's not much, really. Miss Chucker is given to overzealousness in his protection of my person. He rendered the interloper lifeless before I could question him. All he had on his person was an amulet bearing the symbol of the Moloki in hand. The eye in the hexagram. They were the religious order of assassins some 500 years ago. Rumors of their continued existence surface periodically are usually proven to be hoaxes. I figure this for a new group trying to adopt some of the prestige of the name. They seem to be after me as well. Let us hope for both our sakes that they are mere pretenders to the name, then. I would be loath to have the authentic Malokians out for my blood. Huh. Why are they trying to kill us? I do not know. But I am beginning to believe they are behind Stenner's death. This all seems to be pointing to my involvement with the Black Mountain Clan, doesn't it? That is why I feel it is imperative to find out their fate. Our lives seem to be dependent on it, in fact. Some of our lives more than others, eh? <laughs> yes, it would seem I am well protected here. However, the more staff one has, easier it is for one of them to be bribed or replaced with an assassin. Also, my notoriety keeps me a prisoner in my house. They will always know where to look for me. You, on the other hand, can blend with the crowd, so to speak. Not at this point, I don't think. Of course. Uh, to ask of me. business? Well, as you know... I am the foremost manufacturer of steam engines in Arcanum, virtually without competition. I am working on a prototype for a smaller, more efficient engine right now, as a matter of fact. I also have various interests in other technological endeavors. How have you devastated your competition, though? Or labor difficulties? Why do you ask? You're not a labor sympathizer, are you? A unionizer, perhaps? I can assure you. My workers are happy to have the jobs I give them. I treat all orcs, true blood, and half-breed alike better than any other factory owner. Of that, I can assure you. I believe that you're a racist oppressor. Simply curious. Yes, I can understand that. With all the talk of labor difficulties and protests in all the journals. But in answer to your original question, I believe that I am fortunate to have been spared a lot of the problems others have been experiencing with their workers. I do believe it is because I treat my workers better than most. Why, their working conditions are almost human. Oh, oh dear. Old-timey racism. Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? I'll be going now. You know, eventually we can get this fellow on our team. I think it's after the Isle of Despair. He's lower level than us right now, but he's pretty beefy. Chucka is very beefy. I wouldn't mind getting him on our team. Hey, I almost leveled up again. That'd be 19. So they want me to go to Ashbury. Do I know where Ashbury is? Well, that's no help. Keys 10. What keys? I don't know. What is it that you want? Let's sell some of this stuff. I'm sure that's just a regular old enchanted hammer.
through the door. Let us trade, good sir. No. I'll buy that. How about that. No, he doesn't want that. Well, what good are you then? plate mail. <laughs> That's pretty darn large. Charge sword. Gun shop. Flying machine rumors quelled. Look out for that lady. Uh, did you say Ashbury or Blackroot? Pretty sure he said Ashbury. I like the reserve seats. There's no need to go over this again. Hit it over with then. Yes. Moderate. Yes. No. There you go. Mage's caboose. Yes. Three. I'm glad Dog gets a seat. Direct me to the train, Ashbury, yes. Let's go. Can we board then? No animals? Son of a... I guess we're walking. Wait, didn't Dog ride the train back? I don't know. Ashbury's over there. Oh, hey, there's the Isle of Despair. This is going to be a hike. Let's just walk over there before we stop this one. Go. Go, go, go! Stop, elf, if you want live, you gives us 200. You gives us coin. 200. Uh, I'd prefer to watch you die. Thanks for the level up, though. Barbarian clothes. A sword. A rusty sword. And a rusty axe. Got two good reputations, two blessings. Most evil, seething mast. Most powerful, fire elemental. Least powerful, ailing wolf. Most good, marley. Most technical, dwarven bandit. Most magical, rock sprite. And 18 willpower. Sweet. Next level up, familiar. Uh, I'm also going to need to pump points into this and intelligence so I can get more than two of those. Uh, just keep walking. Dude. That was eventful. Across the Morbian Plains, north of the gigantic cheetah, straight through the elven ruins, we journey to Ashbury, where we hope to book passage to the Isle of Despair. What will we find there? Tune in next time to find out.